Jesus Christ, let's go. Holy shit. Somebody's gotta be screwing with us. <laughs> Whatever it was, it just walked off. It came around the tent though. Uh, I'm kind of regretting my decision right now being out here. About a day and a half ago, I got a cease and desist letter from the Federal Fish and Wildlife. What they want me to do is quit communicating with this creature, quit sharing it with you guys. Before posting his Bigfoot videos and gaining over 1 million followers on the platform, Foul Mitten Outdoors began his TikTok journey on August 21st, 2020, in which he would film a fishing mishap. Though barely starting out on the platform, he'd get a modest number of views for showing what he loved, fishing and the outdoor life. Triple dog dare. A few days later on the 23rd, he'd reach his first 10,000 views, and from then on would continue to garner his tens of thousands of views for his daily posts. Okay. Well, the idea of fishing on the river cold definitely out no ice so backtracking another hour to find good ice where are we dude you're the navigator come on man by the 5th of january 2021 foul mitten would get his first 100k plus views where it showed him ice fishing with low oxygen in his tent something all you ice fishermen should be aware of um, I'm out here fishing. We've been in the shanty for about, oh, two hours, running my buddy heater. Uh, we're sparing for pike out here. Took my lighter out of my pocket because I didn't feel quite right. Look at that. If your lighter does that, see that flame? There's no air in your tent, or very little. He'd continue reaching these impressive view counts and a few days later would have over 4 million eyeballs watching his outdoor activities. He'd see a decline in views by April with only a few thousand clicks, leaving Foul Mitten to film a different type of video to regain his popularity. And on June 26, 2021, he would do just that. So strangest thing I've ever come across, my son and I just come across this weird little scene. He'd post a video showing a spooky scene where he found a couple of dolls, clothes on the ground, and ended with an eerie sound being heard in the woods. Jesus Christ, let's go. You need to call the cops out there. If you just see this and walk away, don't mess with it. Get out of the area and don't go back. It's not a place you should be. Fake is all get out. While this was the start of his paranormal videos that looked absolutely staged, his 16,000 view count would be doubled with his next weird encounter shortly thereafter. What is it, man? It wouldn't be until months later where he released another Blair Witch style video in which he'd go viral, gaining close to 9 million views, with his comment section quickly reacting to the supposed paranormal encounter. So, uh, I want to take everybody back here. A place I knew about when I was a kid, haven't been able to find it since. It's an eerie place, I gotta show everybody this now that I found it again. Hold on, Casey, go back, go back. <laughs> no shit, go, go, go. One hundred percent staged. Just a guy in a hoodie. He starts out saying I haven't been here since I was a kid. Then he says I get a weird feeling every time I come back here. Staged. This reaction wasn't valid. A person would even ask about the backstory of that place, to which he'd answer with, "It's not a good story to tell." Although people had a feeling that his video was staged with the scream sounding like it was added on, Foul Mitten would post a video in January of 2022 where he'd explain that a creature was taking his livestock. So uh, once again this morning we found our chicken coop open. And the only way to open this door is to lift this latch and open the coop to where the chickens are. The past two nights, something's been getting in here and stealing our chickens. This is weird. I've never even seen tracks like this before. And honestly, it looks like it went up. What could it be? 
What the hell is it? You hear that? <coughs> Jesus Christ. Let's go back and get a gun. Fucked it. Staged. I live out in the country. You never go out at night unarmed. It looks like acting. The Mitten Man posted a follow-up video a couple of days later where he'd camp out in the middle of the woods and heard strange noises in the distance. So last night, we figured out where the chicken thief is going. We're gonna go set up in the woods and we're gonna let this creature come to us instead of us trying to go to it. Nothing is getting his livestock, all for views. Common sense would be to stay at the coop and wait. Nothing about this approach makes sense. Something about these videos feels off, like giving me Blair Witch Project vibes. It didn't take a brain surgeon to figure out that these videos were what the audience wanted to see. So Mittens would post a video in March searching for the creature while also advertising one of his sponsors. We got some lights that we had sent to us by uh, Ace Beam here. Uh, we're gonna light up the woods tonight. All right, let's go get this done. Stop. What the hell is that? Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? I thought I was going to have a panic attack. What is it? With the foul man replying, we are getting more guys together to find out, not taking the risk. In the second installment of that video, the glowing eyes of this supposed creature could be seen in the brush. There's more than one. They're watching us. Hey! Again, not moving and no breath. Come on, bud. You know you're pulling our leg. Just be honest. I've never seen a flashlight that seems so bright but you can't see very far with it. With Fal replying, it's all the brush. A follow-up video would be posted a month later, in which Mittens leaves Altoids and two apples on top of a rock as a gift for the creature, only to return later to find a couple of bones as a gift in return. Holy shit. Look at that. <laughs> Somebody's gotta be screwing with us. Deer teeth. I really want to believe this. I really do, but it's hard. He'd find the supposed creature chilling in his cornfield similar to the movie Signs. Are they in the cornfield? Yeah. Where's my damn shoes? There we go. I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm telling you right now. Hello? Hello? Fuck this. Now, it would seem to the average viewer that these were obviously staged videos, but that wouldn't stop foul mittens from uploading his paranormal adventures and fooling some of his audience. He would get lost in the woods and by the end of the night would begin hearing a Sasquatch-like sound. I've been out here about six hours now. I don't have any water. Feeling dehydrated. I think I'm gonna have to stop here for the night. So I don't have much on, I don't even have any water on me. Towards the end of the video, he'd fear for his life telling his family he loved them. Okay guys, about three o'clock in the morning, fire's out. I got something walking around me. Mosquitoes kind of woke me up and then I heard it. Well, just in case worse comes to worse, just want to say to my girlfriend, Angela, I love you. Uh, Dylan, I love you. Ariana, I love you. Abby, I love you. Has anyone helped this guy out? Do we know if this is real? Well, it turns out he was just fine. No follow-up video would be posted for his lost shenanigans and even switched it up to voodoo shit for his next paranormal post with the comments section actually concerned about his findings. Check this out. What in the hell is this? Those look like bones. It's definitely a spell. The waxes was used to seal it. I would put it back. You better listen to what everyone is saying. Is old coins really worth something bad happening? It is a spell and you don't want to mess with witchcraft. You better call the cops. He'd open the jar in a later video and found a coin supposedly dating back to 1910 in a jar that wouldn't even match from that time period. The following month in July, he'd return back to what he would now coin as the gifting rock. I'm gonna leave, since it seems to like my chickens, I'm gonna leave a couple of chicken eggs, a couple of cookies, and some peanuts. Where he would leave the creature certain snacks for gifts in return. I'll walk out here, see if the creature left me anything. And yes, he did. Sweet. And this went on for a while. He'd eventually claim to find the creature's bedroom with something being thrown at him. Son of a bitch. And would smarten up by putting an apple tracker inside of a stuffed animal with the audience even concerned for the outcome. Don't track him or her. If you expose him or her, you're going to ruin their life. 
keep it a secret and cherish it. He'd even fire up a French bread pizza for the creature. You guys want the best wood-fired pizza there is? Try this for a camping hack. Wait, just kidding. That was for him. And would return back to the gifting rock to make a startling discovery. But uh, I started looking around and I found a couple of things that are interesting. I got some fur. Here we go. I got some fur on the tree here. Be careful sending the fur to get tested. I've heard that facilities will confiscate it. Only send a little bit. In one video, he'd be four-wheeling with some friends when they captured something moving in the background, which could have easily been a man in a costume. In early 2023, he'd find a piece of the creature's fur caught in one of his traps, and in February would capture movement near the gifting rock. I don't know if you can see it. They're moving off now. There's snow on the ground. Walk over and show us all the tracks. Perfect chance to document tracks but you didn't check. Makes me suspicious, sorry. By May, he'd return to the gifting rock to leave some chalk only to come back to what he claimed was an altar. So I'll tell you what, this is starting to look more like an altar. Would even camp out in the woods to try and capture the creature, and even grab the creature's hand. <laughs> in a separate video, a comment would read, you should contact the Travel Channel to see if you can get on the episode of These Woods Are Haunted. To which Mittens would reply with, They already have contacted me, lol. Believe it or not, we are pretty private people though, so I said no. If these events were even real to begin with, one would imagine he would let the Travel Channel help him discover the secret behind these strange occurrences. The comment about him being a private person when he plasters himself all over TikTok is also fishy. He'd invite a psychic to the gifting rock where she felt negative energy, and shortly thereafter posted an update about the gifting rock. About a day and a half ago, I got a cease and desist letter from the Federal Fish and Wildlife. I had to have a meeting with, face-to-face -face meeting. What they want me to do is quit communicating with this creature, quit sharing it with you guys, and basically cease everything I'm doing. They say they can do this because I'm on federal lands. While he claimed to have been told to stop what he was doing by the government, no proof was given other than his story. His last video up until now sees him doing the same Blair Witch style videos near his coined gifting rock while also hearing these monstrous noises. While I think that he may be pulling our legs for a cool video series, I feel bad for the people who actually believe his stories as nothing but the truth.